I'm Clive Bull, this is LBC, I'm with you till 10. Coming up later, we're going to be talking about Amazon, which has revealed this evening it's entering the smartphone market. We'll be finding out what they've got on offer and why they're getting into the phone business. Plus, would you bash a burglar? A new survey suggests more than 90% of Britons think it's OK to attack someone if they enter your home. Do you think a break-in always justifies violence against the intruder? What's your opinion? Are you part of the 93%? 0345 6060 973 is the number at LBC. Yes, more than 90% of people believe homeowners should be able to use force against intruders, according to a survey out today. And a further one in six said they would personally attack an intruder on their premises. Uh, Only one in 33 people thought using violence against a burglar could never be justified. Uh, So these results are interesting. They show the strength of feeling in favour of uh, homeowners being allowed to defend their property and their loved ones. Now, there was a recent change in the law, not a huge one, but uh, Justice Secretary Chris Grayling changed the law last year to offer greater protection to householders who injure burglars. I mean, there have been lots of famous cases and um, the public reaction uh, to them. And under the new rules, disproportionate force won't automatically bring criminal charges, whereas it did previously. If if it was not reasonable force, but disproportionate force, it won't automatically bring criminal charges. It could still, um, but it wouldn't automatically. Uh, and certainly grossly disproportionate force is still very much a crime. Uh, so this massive 93%, which is the equivalent of uh, 45 million adults in the UK, thought that it was acceptable to use force on burglars. Uh, the most common justification for using force uh, given by 71% was protecting their family, which makes sense. Uh, protecting themselves came second. Uh, but somebody just breaking into the home, that was enough for just about half of those questioned. So uh, 49%, in fact, said that the mere breaking into your home was enough to justify uh, violence against that person. Three out of four people said that all burglars should be jailed, which is another question. It's actually not happening, of course. Uh, Recent figures showed that four out of five serial burglars are escaping with soft sentences, despite the law allowing for a minimum three years after three or more previous convictions. Uh, And incidentally, there was some separate research that I read about today showing 26% of people would grab a weapon to use on an intruder. Uh, a cricket bat or a snooker cue were the top choices. Uh, other people favoured using a table lamp. I think it would depend on the lamp, wouldn't it? Uh, there are some people, um, and again, I'm not sure how legal this is, who do have something by their bedside. They will have a baseball bat or something standing by just in case. So where do you stand on this? Do you think it is acceptable to attack an intruder, whatever the circumstances? If somebody comes into your domain, then what happens to them is their lookout. Do you think that's how the law should be? Uh, uh, And if you break in, does that effectively remove your human rights? Uh, uh, Clearly, there is still a divide, even though there's been a slight change in the law. There's a divide between what people think should happen and what the law actually says. Um, And what about having a cricket bat or whatever? Is it sensible to have a weapon by your bed? 0345... 6060973 for your thoughts on that I'd be interested to know whether this uh, I mean you can't always trust surveys um, it will be interesting to know I, I, I read this and I thought 93% well then I don't think we're going to hear from anyone who disagrees with this I might be wrong um, maybe the survey is wrong I'm, I'm not sure that uh, anyone would disagree with this I think that probably this does represent the vast majority who think if you bre- if you break into somewhere you get get whatever happens you, and you get your just desserts um which is not what the law says of course and and uh, and certainly wouldn't be legal 0345 6060 973 is the number you can also text 84850 
you can tweet at LBC. I'm on Twitter at Clive Bull, and you can email straight to the studio, Clive at lbc.co.uk. And let's talk on the line now to Andrew Allison, who is the campaign manager for the Freedom Association. Andrew, good evening. Good evening, Clive. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, it, it, I suppose it's not surprising, these figures. Well, I, d- I don't think they're surprising. Uh, I think everybody should have the right to defend their property in the way that they see fit. Uh, and they certainly should not uh, have to fear ending up in court um, after after challenging a burglar. Well, that, I mean, if you say the way they see fit, that's certainly a bit stronger than what the law says, isn't it? It is. Um, and it was interesting. I mean, when there has been a law change, uh, as you mentioned. But, uh, but before the law was changed, uh, both the Prime Minister and the Justice Secretary were implying it was going to be a much bigger change. Hmm. Uh, David Cameron even said at the time something along the lines that if someone enters your property, then they really lose their rights, uh, which is a very strong statement. Um, but that doesn't really seem to have happened. Um, as you rightly pointed out, uh, disproportionate force does not, not automatically bring criminal charges. Um, but it could. Gross, but it could. Yeah. Grossly disproportionate force is still a crime. And the, uh, at the time, the, uh, the Justice Secretary said, dis- grossly disproportionate force, in his mind, would be if you knocked a burglar unconscious, and then you stab them, then he would regard that as grossly disproportionate mm. force. But we have these categories, but nobody really knows what they mean. And uh, I really do think that if, if, you, if you enter your, your home, maybe with your family, you find a burglar there, a burglar tries to, tries to attack you, you really should be able to deal with it in any way possible. So, um, that, I mean, this, this is a, a difficult one, because, it, I mean, what you're calling for is a lot more than what the law is. You rightly say it was a fairly minor change, really, and it certainly yeah. isn't. Um, you give up your rights as soon as you enter somebody's home. Um, that's certainly not what the law says at the moment, is it? Um, we're quite a long way from that. Yeah, well, yes, we are. Um, you know, there, there was a, on the Daily Express article um, today, yeah. um, there, there, there's a comment online, um, a very good comment, which says, if you think of the police and how they're equipped to deal with people, I mean, they're trained, they have, could carry tasers, they yeah. have CS spray, extendable truncheons, all of that. But the householder is not prepared for that confrontation in their home. It could be with a very dangerous person. And you're not trained, but you have to make an instant decision on yes. how much force is acceptable. And really, you, you, you can't, can you? I mean, I mean, even if you knock someone unconscious and then you stab them, you can, you can honestly say that it was just a moment of, of, of you mm. know, insanity. Well, if you are terrified and somebody yeah. has come into your home, uh, then you would do probably whatever you felt was, was necessary. I suppose a judge would look at that and say, well, that is disproportionate, because if they're already unconscious, what were you doing stabbing them? Uh, likewise, of course, it could be an instant afterwards, though, couldn't it? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Um, uh, or it has to be sort of balanced with the aggression of the intruder, and that's another argument, that if, if the person comes in and they are threatening you with a knife, then... Uh, then a knife or weapon is is acceptable for you to use. If they are not threatening you but are just standing there in your living room, does that give you the right to shoot them? Well, I think if someone's standing in your living room and they shouldn't be there, you should have the right to tackle them. Mm. Um, and occasionally things are going to go wrong. Uh, you could take a, a swing at a burglar and then they could fall down awkwardly. They could even you know, knock their head off a sharp object and things like that. All of these things are, are possible. But the fact still remains that uh, the burglar should not be there. It's, it, it's, not, their, it's not their property. It's your property. Uh, and you should have a right to defend it. So uh, disproportionate force, um, and even grossly disproportionate force, um, if you've broken into somebody's uh, home, we should forget about that. You would, you would certainly say that uh, you give up your rights, your human rights, as it were, if you break into somebody else's domain. Give up your rights if you if you uh, burgle someone's house if you enter somebody else's property. I think you certainly do uh, give up those rights. Um, but they, they, sh- they should not be there, and uh, you should be able to defend yourself and your family and your property, mm. but not fear that you're going to end up in court and be prosecuted. Yeah, um, and I think that that is the thing. I mean, I mean, you, you, that should not be in your mind as you're trying to make a decision. What, it could what, be a life or death decision. Well, well, absolutely. What about the element of premeditation? What, I mean, having a weapon by your bed or even, you know, we know there have been farmers and people mm. in remote places with, with guns sort of loaded 
ready. And that is sort of premeditation, or would you call that just a sensible precaution? Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Because if we look at knife crime, for example, and it's a slightly different issue, um, but... but um, young people are, are told quite rightly, you know, if you carry a knife, it could easily be turned against you. Mm. Um, and, and, and that's the reason why we, we have such uh, uh, tough sentencing on this. Yes. Now, I mean, if, if you live in a high crime area and you have been burgled before, you may think that that's a, a precaution to take and it's completely up to you. But of course, you know, if, you, if, if a really strong person came in and you, and you tried to get a, a baseball bat and they overpowered you, then you could end up on the wrong end of that baseball bat. Uh, it's a decision that you, that you would have to take uh, yourself. Uh, personally, I, I wouldn't do it. And would you be tougher on burglars so that that would act as a decent deterrent? Well, I think there are many burglars who don't go to uh, to jail, and uh, you know, my, my personal view is that, is that they, they should. Um, you know, if, you, if you have uh, tough sentencing and, mm. uh, and burglars know if they're caught, then that's exactly where they're, they're going to end up, then, then that will yeah. in turn help reduce crime. Well, do, do you feel, and I certainly do feel this, that um, sometimes burglary is not taken as seriously uh, uh, as it might? People underestimate the impact it has on people. I think so, yes. Uh, and, he, and even the Prime Minister touched on that, that, that uh, many years ago he, he was burgled a couple of times in a, in a flat that he had in London, and, and, and he spoke of it um, and I don't think it is taken as, uh, as, as seriously as, as it should be. I mean, I mean, thankfully, I, I never have been burgled. Uh, my late mother-in-law was, and it was uh, an absolutely horrible experience for her, um, knowing that somebody else has come into, come into your, your, your home, violated it, gone through your personal property, even, even through uh, p- personal papers as well as, they, as, they're, as they're looking for things to take. Uh, and, and it is a very serious crime. Uh, people do not feel safe in their home anymore. Um, and if you can't feel safe in your home, well, where else can you feel safe? Absolutely. Andrew, thank you very much. Andrew Allison, who's from the Freedom Association. So I'm asking whether you agree with this. Uh, 93% who say it's OK to bash a burglar, even if it's disproportionate force. You should not be arrested. The law should be on your side that uh, if you break into somebody's property, then you throw away your rights. It was suggested that the law was going to change in that direction, but it hasn't really. It's slightly moved in in the uh, direction of the householder, but not very much. 0345 6060 973 is the number for your thoughts on this. Uh, You can also text, tweet and email. Uh, Here are some of the messages. Uh, Here are some of the messages. Uh,